The purpose of this video is to introduce the idea of Pearson's chi-squared tests and the chi-squared distribution. Uh, these chi-squared tests are really a family of tests, and there will be three that we'll talk about uh, over the course of, of the chapter, uh, and we'll get into, the, into them in due time. But these are a series of tests that are basically going to take two different populations or um, similar populations over, say, 10 or 20 or 100 years, and, and what they want to know is, are there any differences between the two uh, samples? So if you were to take a sample of say, say you're studying birds in the early 1900s and you wanna study whatever allele and genotype frequencies in a population of birds, you can, what you can do is you can take that sample from a hundred years ago, take a sample now, and then you can determine whether or not there's been any changes over that hundred years. So these chi-squared tests have lots of applications in particular in biology and evolutionary biology, um, but they have lots of applications. And basically you wanna know, is your predictions, um, so, so if you were gonna study some sort of variable where you could predict what's gonna happen, um, what you can do is you can go and make observations and then compare the observations to your predictions and say, was this a good statistical model or not? Okay, and so there's lots of ideas that are kind of tied together here and we'll get into them uh, in due time. But this first video is just to introduce the idea that P Pearson's chi-squared tests are just a series of tests that are going to be used to compare observed versus predicted values, whatever that means in a given context. They're going to use a new type of distribution. So this is a probability distribution called the chi-squared distribution. Um, there's not a table for this on the handout on Canvas. So what I did is I put a new table there. It's kind of a new uh, link for us in Canvas. And I put a link here in the file as well. So, um, so there's a copy of the chi-squared distribution. Um, this copy of the chi-squared distribution uh, is really just going to be a table. So I think it's chi-square-table.net, something, um, something super straightforward like that. But uh, there's also uh, chi-squared uh, information built into R, of course. So we'll talk about that again in due time in a future video. The chi-square distribution is a little bit different than the normal distribution and the t-distribution in that it's only defined from zero to infinity. Therefore, it's not symmetrical with the mean. Uh, in fact, there's, we're not gonna talk about the formula for the mean of this distribution. It doesn't have the, um, it, it's got lots of nice properties, but it doesn't have the simple algebraic properties that the binomial distribution had. So we're gonna uh, skip over some of those formulas for the mean and the, the standard deviation. Um, all we're really going to look at is we're going to have different notions of degrees of freedom, which we'll again talk about uh, over different examples. So it'll depend on which chi-squared test we use. Uh, that'll dictate which, um, how many degrees of freedom we're going to have based on the different example. Uh, but uh, if the degrees of freedom is increasing, this is going to look more and more like a normal distribution. Okay, so it kind of gets stretched out to the right. It's also right skewed, meaning that if you were to look at the left tail that's pretty small, but the right tail is pretty big. Um, so this is a, a right skewed distribution. What I wanna do in the following videos is we'll actually go through the various chi-squared tests with some examples. I'll show you how to do these by hand, and then I'll show you how to do these problems with R. 